And this is something we worked on usually on Thursdays in college football. And really what it came down to is, okay, how, how are you going to block cross dogs on zone plays? And you got to be able to block cross dogs on zone plays, gap plays, all, all your stuff, you got to be able to handle it. But we used to work on it every week because you never know kind of when it's going to show up. And it showed up in a four-minute drill here. But he, here's my philosophy on it. So we're running an inside zone play to the left. So the center, there, there's our ID. So the center and the left guard are singling here. Backside, we're being to the backside linebacker. But then the cross dog happens. And part of, part of it is the recognition. I think everybody notices that these guys are really tight. It's a four-minute. So you're in four-minute drill. These things show up in four-minute drills. They're trying to stop you from running the ball. But as a general rule, in zone blocking, when we get a cross dog, we are trying to double the blitzer. Double the blitzer to the backer is the expression that I use. And here's a good example of it. Double the blitzer to the backer. Now, the near foot lead footwork helps the center because he's able to stay square. He's able to change directions a lot smoother. And then we push to that linebacker. So if you're seeing these types of cross dogs, and it wouldn't matter to me which direction we were running the ball. If we were running the ball to the right, then the center and the left guard would double the blitzer. But here we're running the ball to the left. So it's the center and the right guard. So it's the center and the backside, double the blitzer. That's the most important thing is that you stop him. If he penetrates, the whole play is finished. So don't allow that first blitzer to penetrate. Double the blitzer. And then ultimately, after you double the blitzer, you can push to the backer. 